Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this customer satisfaction dashboard in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, this is the dashboard page of the customer satisfaction dashboard in Google Sheet. And here we are showing the five different metrics, total tickets, and then average satisfaction score. This is out of five. Average resolution time of a ticket that is 59.9 hours and then this is the resolved ticket. So number of tickets out of 500 we have resolved 193. Here we are showing the average response time. So whenever we are giving the first response to the customer that is average time in hours. Then we are showing here SLA breach percentage on this beautiful gauge chart. And then we are showing here average response time by channel. This is in hours. Total ticket by status. And here we are showing the number of ticket issue, number of tickets by issue type, average resolution time by department. And here we have number of tickets by month. So you can see the month on month trend also. And this is average satisfaction score by channel total tickets by region and average satisfaction score by issue type. Now we will show you some other pages also. We have created one search page. Here you can quickly search in your data. For example, if you want to see the data by the department, we have selected here department and we want to see the data for the sales department. So we just have put here sale or sales, then automatically it will return the department level data. This is showing the number of records. We have 112 records here. Now let's say I change the department. I delete it. Then it is showing all data number of records 500 and I want to see the support team data only. Then we can see we have 95 count here or let's say I want to see by channel and uh, let me show the email channel only. Then we can see we have 105 records. Okay, this is here. So that is how you can quickly search your data and you can further copy this data to paste on Excel or Google sheet to further use it. Now the next sheet is the data sheet and here we have ticket ID, customer name, region, channel, issue type, department, status, response time. This is in the hours and then resolution time. This is satisfaction score. 1 to 5 and then here we have the date here we have taken the first response meet SLA true or false if it is true then uh, that means we are meeting the SLA of the first response otherwise it is false then resolution meeting the SLA or not here we have created a column that is SLA breach if it is not meeting the SLA that means it will be 1 otherwise it will be 0 so that we can take the sum of this to calculate the SLA breach percentage. Here we are putting the month and year on the basis of this date. All right. Now I will show you the support sheet also. We have created a support sheet to create these top card and this SLA breach percentage. On the support sheet, we are taking the total tickets. So here you can see we have put the count a function and we are taking the count of column A to A1000. That means on the data sheet, we are just taking the count of ticket IDs starting from range A2. Okay. Now let me come here and I'll show you the average satisfaction score also. The average satisfaction score, we are using the average function from column J of the data sheet. So let me come to the data sheet. And here we have column J, this one. And this is the satisfaction score. So we are taking the average of it to get the average satisfaction score. Similarly, we are calculating the average resolution time and average response time from H column and this is from I column. So let me come here, H column, response time and the resolution time column I. Okay, now coming to the resolved ticket. So resolved ticket we are taking from the status. From the column G, we are getting the count of resolved only using the count if. Okay, let me come to the column G. You can see this is the status and from here we are just getting the count of resolved. So we have this number of resolved ticket. Now coming to this table here we are showing the SLA breach. So we are getting the sum here 
because we already created the SLA breach column 1 and 0. So we are simply taking the sum of this. So we are getting here total SLA breach out of 500. Then to create the SLA breach percentage, we are just using the SLA breach divided by total tickets. All right. We have created all the data. Then we created these top cards. These cards we created on the basis of these all top table. So let me show you one how you can create that. So let's say for total ticket, just select the total ticket and this 500 range B2, B3. Go to the insert and insert a chart. As you insert a chart, automatically it will create that scorecard. If it is creating some other chart, you can go to the chart editor and chart type. You can just select a scorecard from here. By default, it has taken. Otherwise, you can select that. Okay. Once that is available, you can go to the customize and the key value. You can take the size of the key value around 45. You can type here manually and just hit the enter. Then you can align this center and font color whatever color you want you can take that by default it is black but let's say i want to take this blue you can take that now let's come to the chart and access title here automatically it is taking the title as total tickets however you can change it as you want now let's align this center size i'm taking here 14 or 18 then you can just take the same theme color whatever you want and if you want to make this bold you can make it bold then you can make it smaller like this and you can place this wherever you want so we have just placed it here if you want to change the outline color also you can do that so just double click here go to the customize chart style and here we have the chart border so let's say i want to take this color okay same color will appear here so that is how we have created these top cards. Now I will show you how you can create this SLA breach gauge chart. To create that first, let me select the SLA breach here. Go to the insert, insert a chart. Now automatically it has created that scorecard, but we need gauge. So what we can do, just change the chart type from here, scroll down and take this chart that is gauge chart. Now just make this smaller like this and then we will make some changes because this is 0% to 10,000%. So we will take 0 to 100% only. Just double click, go to the customize, gauge. So you can see the gauge range is 0 to 100. It should be 0 to 1. 1 means 100%. Our data is in percentage format. Okay, so we'll take 0 to 1 only. Then here the first range let's take this green color the second range keep yellow and the third range let's take this red color we have changed the range order the minimum is 0 to let's say 0 0.33 that is 30 percent that will be in green if SLA breach is less then it is always better so that means 0 to 33 we are taking in green then 0 0.33 to 0 0.66 33% to 66% it will be amber then for the red you can take the 0 0.66 to 1 means 100% okay so you can change the colors as you want you can change this range also as per your process requirement then you can just go to the chart title here and you can change the title align this center text black and font also if you want to change it that you can make this bold or bigger make the chart smaller so now you can place this chart wherever you want again you can change the chart out outline from here whatever you want let's say i'm taking this one okay so that is how we have created this chart also now i will show you how we have created the other chart for example average response time by channel to create this chart you can simply insert a blank chart first insert a blank chart okay now just double click and go to the setup and here in the data range just click on this table icon now here first we will select the channel so just scroll to the left side we have the channel on column d just select the whole column click on add another range and we'll take the response time also this one and just click on ok now our chart is looking like this we need bar chart so we'll take the bar chart here okay then it is looking like this 
let's click on this aggregate now we can see only aggregated number for the social media and other but it is showing the total you can see if you go to the customize and uh, here just make it 3d and you can add, go to the series and add the data labels also just look at the data labels this is not the response time average response time it is the sum of the response time right so let's come back to the setup and here in the response time you can see it is taking sum by default aggregation type so let's aggregate it as average so this is the average you can see all right so that is how you can change this and you can go to the customize again and here we have the data labels and you can change the number format also as per your requirement if you want to change it for example i want to take let's say let's go to the custom number format here i can take 0, 0.0 apply so we can see one decimal here now you can just click on the outline here and uncheck major grid lines from here that is not visible you can put the chart title as you want go to the chart and axis title and let's put here now you can further format this align this center and you can take the black color font you can take around 16 or 14 and then you can place this wherever you want so that is how we have created and you can change the default color also like we have changed here so if you want to change the color just double click here and you can see this series response time you can fill the color from here for example i'm taking this color you can choose any other color all right friends so friends that is how we have created some other charts also and we created this final dashboard friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching